Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next setting we're going to go over is a big one, and this one is also going to be usually more filament specific than machine specific. And what I mean about that is it is the cooling factor. Now, the first setting you have under cooling is enable print cooling, and basically that turns your part cooling fan on and off. There are a bunch of other fan settings that regulate the fan, and you can adjust it to be set as a certain percentage at a certain time, and yes, that's all well and good, but if you don't know what filaments require fans and what filaments don't, you're going to have some problems in this regard. So here's a couple of quick tips. PLA, generally, you want to have a fan, and it works really well. The higher the fan speed, the better it works. That's not really a law, but it's general rule. It works pretty well. And in some cases of hybrid materials that are really PLA-like, PETGs, you're going to want to have a little bit of a fan, um, but not much. For most PETG products, you're going to want to have the fan completely off or down really low, below 20%. And for ABS products, you're not going to want the fan on at all. Uh, basically, that's going to cause a cool air gap between the nozzle and the bed, and it will warp and crack your prints. Now, there are ways around that in the special settings. We will talk about that later. But there are several other types of filament, and it's important to know before you start a model when working with a new filament, those filament specific settings. You can generally find those on the side of the box, on the side of the spool, or on the company's website. So basically anything you're going to be putting in here should be something that you either know because it is something you're experienced with or you actually went and checked to see if that particular plastic should have a fan. Now, like I said, it's a general rule that most PLAs are going to have the fan turned on. You don't need to check for every different brand of PLA that you get. But if you have problems such as stringing or warping or cracking, this is one of the first things that I would go to and find out. Because maybe you have a rarer form of plastic and it's not meant to have the fan turned on it. A couple of the settings that are in here under Enable Print Cooling. You have your fan speed. You can change this. Uh, it will also affect these two. You can change these independent of this, and it will remain the way that you set it. Normally, I leave it on 100% when I'm printing with PLA, as I am here, even if it is a infused PLA. So I have no issue with that. Initial fan speed is zero. This is basically saying I'm not going to turn the fan on for the first layer because I want it to be nice and gooey. I want it to stick to the bed. And then once I put down a layer or two, basically in this case, four layers it's going to turn that fan on and add about 10 percent and then it's going to gradually increase the fan until it's at full speed over the next couple of layers just like we talked about with the print head but in reverse as always this channel is brought to you by the spine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on patreon head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous that's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.